Okay, so this is the um, little cow area, little cows area. Um, I brought these four in to get water, and I'm going to tie them here for the night. We have another area up, up, up that hill uh, with some other ones. So that's the oldest one right here. And uh, I don't have their names uh, down. That's Momai. That's Momai. This little mean fucker right here, she's the mother of that one. And if I get too close to him, like to pet him and shit, she bumps me and knocks me down and shit. She's a pretty, pretty tough. She's a small, she's the smallest one, but she's pretty tough. I don't remember her name. Uh, anyway, I'll, you know, I'll have more information later. Still getting used to this thing. Um, that's the trough over there. Oh, this is a, another Baha'i Kubo, by the way. Um, we don't have any true Baha'i Kubos anymore. Everything is concrete. Hey, girl. What's up? Yeah, I gotta do something about these flies. It's bothering them. And, uh, be careful not to get close to her, because she's, she's a sneaky one. Yeah, I'm talking about you, goddammit. Still mad at you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna fuck with your baby. She must know we're getting we're gonna sell her when she gets so a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's veal right there, baby. <laughs> now I, I have mixed feelings about uh, owning these uh, animals and selling them because we're selling their babies, and it's clear she does not like. She gets attached to her babies. I think she's just used to it. Matter of fact, I don't think she's even producing babies anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, the others, they don't really trip, but she does. So my mom said, uh, we're going to keep you. You are right, girl. Well, actually, he's a boy. Uh, yeah, ain't nobody going to mess with you. I don't feel like, uh, get, doing any judo fights today with your mama. Anyway, that's kind of like the barn. Uh, it's got building material in there from... A house that they took down and I guess my mom wants to build something else with it um, uh, I would like to do something with the goats build them a shelter or something stuff for them to climb up on because the goats like destroy all of our all of our uh, fencing and let me show you how the fencing is made we don't buy fencing we have so much material here oh yeah these are posts that we tie the goats to. Um, they can't, uh, so they can't get around. <laughs> so what happens is, if I take them down, when we take them into the garden where there are vegetables, we have to keep them where they can get the grass between the veggie gardens, but they can't reach the veggie gardens. Um, these cows right here, they'll they'll drag, they'll drag these things, but the goats uh, are not strong enough to pull those. Um, oh, by the way, this Baha'i Kubo is as, uh, as rudimentary and uh, primitive as it seems. does have electricity and running water. <laughs> okay, so this is how we make the, um, the fence, right? So we take these tree stumps, uh, get a little pole digger or whatever they call those things, that go into the ground and dig a small hole. And these things go into the hole. We refill it, put put rocks on each side to keep it from leaning like that right there. Uh, didn't really work. And then uh, um, typically it's lined with bamboo. And the way these cows are, you see he's pulling. I got him tied to a, her, I'm sorry, tied to a concrete pole. But they will pull this stuff down. So uh, what my stepdad did was he put up a uh, barbed wire instead of the traditional bamboo so it doesn't quite look like what other Filipino farms uh, have and um, and of course you know uh, this was all vegetation when we bought this piece of land and um, they kind of created these natural pens using um, the uh, 